Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So if you've seen some of my previous video, you'll know that I recently bought the fastest MacBook Pro that you can buy at the time of this video on the planet right now. That includes a 64 gigabyte memory and a huge upgrade to the graphics card, which is the AMD Radeon Pro 5600M 8 gigabyte HBM2 model. And this is the fastest graphics card that you can get on any MacBook and it gives you a very enhanced performance in gaming. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing using my MacBook Pro as a gaming console. So I'm gonna be testing a few things to see how the lag is, to see how the quality of the video is, the images coming through, and just an overall performance review. I've downloaded three games right now to test the capability of my MacBook, to see hopefully it doesn't crash as well at the same time, or if my memory is not getting used up, or if the MacBook is overheating or anything like that. So the first game I've got is Asphalt 9, which I've downloaded on the Mac App Store in the arcade section and then i also have steam on my mac as well and i've got two games downloaded on that one is shadow of the tomb raider and the other one is dirt 4. so let's go ahead quickly test some of those games i've got my bluetooth wireless controller ready to go and i actually have a separate review as well for this gaming wireless controller it's a bluetooth one it looks like a nintendo switch it's really awesome so do check that out i'll have a link in the description below for that as well so let's just get straight into the gaming <laughs> All right guys, so I'm just playing Asphalt 9, downloaded on the Mac App Store. So let's go ahead and see how the playback is. So far I've just set up everything. It looks good. The graphics look good. Now let's see the gameplay. That's very smooth so far. Bit of drift in there. Takeouts. Smooth, there was absolutely no lag. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. I'm pretty much killing it, to be honest. Let's do a 360 there. That was perfect. This is exactly like I've got a gaming console, PS4, an Xbox. I'm not seeing too much of a difference, to be honest. And from my point of view, I feel like this is playing on an actual console as well because I have the controller. So for me, it's been amazing. I didn't really experience any lag there. All right, guys, as you can see here, I've just loaded up Shadow of the Tomb Raider and I'm doing a benchmark test. So on the top left-hand side of your screen, it's basically testing to see the best frames per second. Currently, it's averaging near to 90 but it's going down between 80 and 90. Slightly dropping there, down to the 60 mark. It's between 60 and 70 frames per second right now. Oh, slightly frozen there. Let's wait to see if it comes back to life. A tiny bit of a lag, as you saw but I think I'm ready to go in and start playing. Alright guys, I don't know if you noticed from the cinematic opening there, there was a little bit of a jaggedy video quality there, it looked a bit squarey, but for the most part, probably 98-99% of it, it was perfect, it was smooth, the graphics looked great, and I'm just into the gameplay now, so this is just a, a short cinematic uh, b-roll footage before I start moving around myself manually. So now let's get into the actual gameplay. Six weeks, and still no solid lead on who's leaving the local Trinity cell. But our 
talked to some people in town. They're excited. There's a VIP coming to the Day of the Dead. Name's Dominguez. I'm on my way in. Almost there. So far it's looking great. I feel like the graphics have just exceeded my expectations for a MacBook as well. And I feel like I am playing this on a PlayStation or an Xbox and I feel like I can't differentiate it between a gaming console and this MacBook Pro. So, so far it's done an amazing job. As you can see, there's no lag, there's no buffer. The frame rate is awesome. The, the refresh rate on the TV is 60 Hertz, but I'm using HDMI cable to connect it directly into my MacBook Pro. And if I was to play it directly on the MacBook Pro without an external monitor, I reckon it would be a little bit even more faster. So that's just something to be aware of when you're watching this and playing a game with a TV. Alright guys, and finally, just going to play Dirt 4 on Steam, so let's see how the graphics come out on this. So smooth acceleration, no lag, no buffer. I'm basically just doing a test course here. Just crashing into things, spinning around, drifting, accelerating. Boom. Now even that crash was actually pretty smooth. To be honest, like, I couldn't tell the difference if this was a PlayStation or if it was my MacBook Pro. If I was using this on my MacBook Pro that I was using before, the 2017 one, I would no way be able to get any type of performance like I'm seeing now. I'm gonna try to flip the car. Nope, that didn't work. So let me try and spin around the camera to see if there's any lag in performance as well. Super fast. This is awesome. I will basically just consider myself having a gaming console and it's just my MacBook. Now I have noticed that my MacBook is heating up a little bit. When I touch it, it's quite hot. So I've put the fans up using a separate app that I have. So that's just something to be aware of, but that's kind of expected when you're gaming with a laptop. All right, guys, now this is a career mode, actual gameplay. Now this is so smooth, so fast. Graphics look great. Frame rate is great. There's no buffer on it. And I'm just rubbish at this game. Take a look at that car. The details and the graphics of how crap I am at playing this, I think is just amazing. All right guys, so I hope you found that useful. For me, it's just a, a, an awesome laptop here. So the AMD Radeon Pro 5600 HBM2 has done a massive difference. I couldn't have imagined using my MacBook Pro in any sort of concept as a gaming console, but today I can. So that was a very well worth purchase that I did to upgrade my MacBook with that specific graphics card. And of course you need a lot of memory power and a lot of space in your hard drive as well to install these games as well. So that's just something to be aware of, which I do have. I maxed out a lot of the specs. Do check out my previous videos if you haven't seen it already. I did purchase the MacBook Pro with all of the top specs. It's the most expensive bundle that you can get for a one terabyte hard drive. And it's also the fastest MacBook Pro currently on the planet today. So no joke. Have a look at that video and uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video if you really enjoyed the gaming aspect of it. And are you guys going to be using this as a gaming console if you are planning on buying this MacBook Pro? 
Let me know and uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Otherwise, if you did like that video, I've got some really cool reviews coming out for this MacBook Pro and testing this graphics card out in the future. So make sure you subscribe and I hope you like this video and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.